Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be going through a quick demonstration of how you can utilize one login as an identity provider to access and authenticate to the AWS CLI uh, or command line interface. Uh, in this particular configuration, we're going to be doing a browser-based authentication, meaning that when you're accessing CLI, you actually authenticate through your browser, which gives you the ability to enforce all of the same types of access control policies uh, as you would if a user was signing into the one login portal. So for example, all of your standard multi-factor policies, uh, if you're using smart factor authentication, you can do risk-based or contextual authentication. If you're using any sort of certificate-based device trust policies, those are all now enforceable with this configuration since we're doing browser-based authentication. So the way that it's set up is that it takes advantage of the AWS single sign-on service. And so basically what we've done is we've configured one login as an identity provider for the AWS single sign-on service. And so to do this, we start by adding the AWS single sign-on connector into our one login instance. So we have a pre-built uh, application connector for AWS SSO. And so that's what I've uh, added here into my portal. Now, so what we need to do is after you add the connector, you'll want to download the metadata file. And then we're gonna, uh, in just a moment, we'll update that metadata file to AWS. So over on the AWS side, uh, this is just, again, you know, from the management console, you go to the AWS SSO service, and we're just gonna add an identity provider. Uh, it'll ask you to upload the identity provider metadata. So I've already done that part. And so we can see the, the IDP metadata, the, the one login metadata has already been imported here. And as a result of that, it has also generated the service provider metadata for me. Uh, now we'll need to take the uh, ACS URL as well as the issuer URL and bring those back over to one login and paste them right here. Now, this particular connector does also support skim provisioning, meaning that you can utilize one login to automate the process of creating users within AWS single sign-on. And subsequently, you can also assign those users uh, entitlements within AWS single sign-on. Uh, of particular importance is that you can assign users to groups. Uh, and using kind of the standard AWS policy engine, you can attach policies to those groups to then, uh, you know, therefore control uh, the specific permissions that a user who belongs to that group, um, you know, has within your environment, right? So uh, read, write, EC2, S3, the same types of policy engine that you could attach to, uh, you know, your, your standard IAM users or roles uh, on the AWS side. So that's the basics of the setup. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you how it works and kind of what it looks like in action. So uh, I've already got the AWS CLI installed on my machine uh, and it's relatively straightforward setup. You just need to generate an, uh, an access key ID and a secret key. Um, and then one of the key parts with how you will integrate this with AWS single sign-on is that you need to create a named profile. Uh, and so there's a local config file uh, that you would actually store and create those uh, profiles. You can configure the profiles from the CLI or just by you know, going directly to that config file as well. But essentially what that does is it determines which SSO role is attached to that particular profile. So what permissions are attached to that particular profile. So basically the way that it works is when I want to sign in, I'll just use the command AWS SSO login, and then I can specify the profile that I want to sign into as a command line variable. So I've already got a profile called admin. I'm going to go ahead and sign into that one. So we'll see what's going to happen here in a moment is once I submit this uh, command, it's going to launch a browser window for me and that's going to initiate the authentication flow. So I'll go ahead and run the command. So that's where it launches the browser window for me. Uh, you may have seen it flash up there momentarily to automatically enters in this code for me. And then because we have one login configured as the identity provider, it's now asking me to sign in. So at this point, any standard user or app policies that you have configured within one login are applied here. So that means if you've got desktop single sign-on configured, that would you know work just fine here. If you've got any uh, multi-factor authentication policies configured, those would be enforced, which we'll see in a moment. Uh, and that could be you know, explicitly enforced multi-factor using basic MFA policies, or it could be risk and contextual based MFA enforcement if you're using smart factor authentication.
Uh, and then, of course, you also have the ability to do things like certificate-based device trust here, or you know, IP whitelisting, blacklisting, or geographic whitelisting, blacklisting. All of those things are now possible because we're doing browser-based authentication here. So in this particular scenario, I'm going to be asked for multi-factor. So I've got one login protect set up as my default authentication factor. Of course, any of the authentication factors that you've enabled in your one login account would work just fine here. So I'll go ahead and accept the push notification I received from one login protect. And uh, that's basically gonna complete the authentication flow. Uh, so what we'll see here is um, I just need to click this button, sign into the CLI, and then there we go, I've been successfully signed in. So now over here in the actual CLI itself, we can see I'm successfully signed in. And uh, if I just run a quick test command, uh, we'll be able to verify that as well. So there we have it. So that is what that setup looks like to utilize one login as the identity provider to facilitate access into the AWS CLI. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and contact your uh, technical sales team. And thanks for watching.